Hey guys, so for today's video, I have my September favorites and regrets. I'm super excited for this month's favorites and regrets because I have so many products to share with you guys. So the first thing I want to just jump right into are these new e.l.f. brushes. Oh my god. As soon as I saw these online and then at my doorstep and I opened the PR package, I almost died because they're just so beautiful. Like, can we talk about this packaging here? The beautiful acrylic with the chrome and the pale, pale, pale gray, white um, bristles. I'm not gonna lie, I'm in love with the packaging and I could probably rave about that for days, but as soon as I knew I loved the packaging, I said to myself, Amy, settle down, just actually try them and see if you really think that they're worth it regardless of how they look. And I can 100% tell you guys, they are such amazing quality. Not only are they really good quality, super soft, they blend product out like a dream. Like I'm not even kidding you. I feel like these brushes are like a little airbrush system. I'm not even kidding you. Whatever products you're applying on your face with these brushes, it just airbrushes it out, makes it look super flawless and super blended. I'm obsessed with these. This is the 105 brush. I really love this for contouring. How often is it that you guys hear me talk about a contour brush that I love? Normally I just stick with my NARS Eda brush because I'm that picky with contour brushes, but I really like this one. I love how at the top here, there's these tiny little bits of bristles that stick up outside of the regular length and that just really helps to like blend out and do like an extra double overtime blending it's really really nice I love how it's not too dense it's not too fluffy it's a perfect kind of shape and size for contouring I've been loving it the past few days really 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 dying over these um, they have a couple great shadow brushes as well this eyebrow brush is really nice again it applies your eyebrows super natural and airbrushed looking. Really, really love these brushes. I definitely recommend you guys checking them out. So before I get into the makeup, I really want to shout out a pair of lashes that I have just been so obsessed with. I've been loving them for a couple months now, um, but I just, I have to shout them out. It just got to that point where I've just absolutely am obsessed with these. These are by Tiny Minx, and these are in the style Miss Samantha. They're the most beautiful. This is, this is a brand new pair, by the way, because I wanted to show you guys how it actually looks without me having a mess it up. But they're beautiful, fluffy, wispy, voluminous lashes. I love how these go a little bit slim on the inner corner and then super thick and wispy towards the outer edge because it gives you a super sultry, kind of wispy, fluffy eye. And I really love that. I'm actually wearing them today and I've been wearing them a ton recently and also in the past like I would say maybe two months I would say I do actually have a coupon code with them I will leave it down below before we do get into makeup I want to just shout out two skincare products that I've been loving and just talk about them super quickly so this is the Vinalta anti-aging formula vitamin C serum with hydrolonic acid for face and body I've been obsessed with this for my face. I love the texture of it. It's not too greasy. It's a nice thin kind of water consistency to it, so it doesn't make me feel super heavy. Also, this stuff is packed with a bunch of really amazing things for your skin. And I don't know what it is, but ever since I've been using it, I've also been drinking a lot more water, so that definitely has to do with my skin improving. But ever since I've been using this, my rosacea is down a lot. Like normally, my cheeks are super, super red on the jawline area. And lately it's just looking really good and super glowy and a lot of you guys are actually noticing that my skin is looking really amazing so I definitely would recommend you guys to check this out you can only get it on Amazon I do have a coupon code as well for this so I'll leave it down below for you guys I've also been dying over this moisturizer this is the bioderma matte control anti no shine control moisturizer for combo oily sensitive skin I cannot tell you guys how amazing this is. This makes your skin, I feel like it's like almost a primer. When I use it, I feel like it's a primer moisturizer. It's really, really, really cool. It makes your face super duper matte, but still healthy looking. Like it doesn't suck the life out of your skin. It gives you a very soft, like airbrushed matte look and you almost look poreless. Like that's how flawless and like smooth and matte you look. I even wear this when I'm not wearing makeup and I'm telling you for the rest of the day, I don't have a super shiny face. Like normally I'm a very, very shiny. I'm a total grease ball, but with this little guy, it keeps me matte. It keeps me under control and I'm obsessed with it. I pretty much have been using this every single day in the morning, no matter if I'm wearing makeup or not wearing makeup. I've been loving this. 
So since I have a bunch of palettes that I've been obsessing over, I really want to share them with you guys first. The first one I only got yesterday. I know it's crazy for me to even mention it, but I figured this is such a hyped, talked about product that I have to just talk about it and talk about my thoughts. Like I said, I only got it yesterday and actually just filmed this tutorial using it, playing around with it. I am obsessed with this palette. Let's just say that. Like, I tested out pretty much every single formula in this eyeshadow palette already because I wanted to see the different textures, the different formulas. Now this eyeshadow palette is called the Textured Rose Gold Edition Palette and that's definitely an amazing name for it because they have some really sick, like super freaking cool textured 3D shadows. So some of these shades that you see on top here, these catch your eye right away. Some of them are good old foil. Like this one right here is actually what I'm wearing on the center of my lid. It's a good old super shimmery foiled shadow. It's amazing. But they have these shades right here which are extremely textured and 3D. I can't even tell you how cool they feel. They are wet to the touch. They feel like a cross between a foiled shadow, a pressed glitter, and a pressed pigment. They're unlike anything I've ever worked with in my entire life. Like, do you see that? The formula of these and just the texture of them is incredible. Now, I know a lot of people have had a lot of talk about the kind of 3D metal ones not applying really good and the thing is with them being so unique and so textured you do have to apply them with a certain technique now i will kind of share with you guys how it worked for me if you just go ahead and take this and just swatch it you notice how that looks amazing right you see how it's like bam pigment so it's not patchy or anything a lot of people are saying that these 3d kind of ones aren't swatching very well and they're coming off extremely patchy now let me do the same shadow and share with you guys another swatch so if i take this and rub it back and forth do you see what happens there i use the same amount of product same eyeshadow so as you can see there's a way to apply it and a way not to apply it um but you know what that's the thing about makeup there's so many different techniques and i feel like with every single makeup product you apply it differently so when it comes to these super textured shadows you just want to make sure that you're applying them like in this one swipe motion you don't want to pat you don't want to rub because they are so super textured and intense and unique they really require some precise you know certain technique and attention honestly the pigment is crazy like i'm trying to rub it off my hands i can't even like the pigment is insane and incredible with these i'm totally obsessed with this palette i love can i just say that the colors that she put in this palette are so unique now i know we all have these shades and we have that shade and we have this shade but to throw them all in one i just think this entire palette looks really cool and different i can tell you right now i don't own any eyeshadow palette that looks like this um, a lot of people are saying it looks similar to the Modern Renaissance palette and I can just tell you right now I have the Modern Renaissance palette and this one and they don't even like you know I, they don't really compare to me this one just has so many different other shades to offer and I'm obsessed with it I think you have I think you can create a million different looks with this I'm probably talking about this for way too long so I'm gonna move forward but I'm just saying it's totally worth the money. Yes, it was really expensive Canadian. I know my Canadian girls are going to ask. I did get charged $36 or $34 in duties and taxes at the door at delivery. So it ended up being $150 Canadian, which I know is crazy. But I will say if you're worth this, like if you're, you know, ready to splurge on something, this is it. Like I don't regret it whatsoever. You know, I really think that this is super unique and really awesome. So next palette I really want to talk to you guys about is the Anastasia Ultimate Glow Kit. This I really, really do love. I think it's bomb.com. I feel like it's like highlighter heaven for me because I'm obsessed with all of the different gold tones. The formula of these is really nice. They have a very like wet kind of texture and I'm actually wearing amber gold right now on the skin and it's a really beautiful gold that just has this slight pinky rosy undertone but i will say these three shades down here on the bottom do have quite a bit of shimmer in them which i know a lot of people are not going to like um, when you do apply them on the face, if you look close up, you are going to have little bits of shimmer. But the shimmer is very, very, very fine. So to me, I personally don't mind it. It's not something that I dislike. Um, but I noticed these three shades on top here don't really have much shimmer at all. So I figured I would mention that to you guys because I know some of you don't like any shimmer at all in your highlights. So if you are extremely picky on that and you don't want any shimmer at all, 
then you might not like these. Um, so I figured I would kind of mention that. Next palette I have to share with you guys is the Anastasia Master Palette by Mario. I really, really love this. I know a lot of you guys have been tweeting me and asking me in the comment sections what I feel about this, if I think it's truly worth it. And I would definitely say it's worth it. I know it's sold out on Anastasia. I think it's still in stock on Sephora US and Canada. Um, but I, yeah, if you're asking me if I think this is worth it, definitely. What I like about this is it's like a different type of palette. You know, a lot of my palettes are neutrals and warms and Sometimes they kind of look redundant, even though I'm totally in love with them, I will say, but sometimes, you know, they kind of look redundant. And with this, I just feel like there's some really cool different colors in here in terms of just the entire, you know, shade range altogether pulled. For me, when I look at this palette, it just seems more of a super sultry, smoky, sexy palette, you know what I mean? Like I get this sultry vibe from it when I look at it and when I play with it. Also, the formula of these is way creamier for some reason than the other ABH palettes, which is really cool. Like I actually really love the formula of these ones. Next palette I have to share with you guys is another highlight palette, but this is my obsession. This is the Makeup Geek and Kathleen Lights palette. Can I just say, okay, the color in here are beautiful they're bomb I think everyone mostly everyone will love them and it'll work on most skin tones um, but can I just say the formula of these probably my favorite formula of highlighters like seriously very 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 finely milled and have this like wet feeling and wet texture on the skin like when you apply it on your cheeks you get this wet super 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 like foiled intense metallic glow with absolutely no shimmer in it extremely extremely unique amazing really special formula that i'm totally obsessed with and the pan size hello i swear this is like the month of palettes i have so many palettes to mention to you guys next palette is the nyx sweet cheeks palette this is the blush palette i really 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 love this not only is the formula really good it blends out really seamlessly on the skin really pigmented really buttery you know nyx is always on point with their quality i just think there's so much variety in here and no matter what look you're doing you could pick up this palette and a blush would match that look you know i just think it's an awesome little palette with great quality and great shade variety so next is kind of a little palette i threw together myself so makeup geek sent me their new newly launched shadows they came out with nine regular shadows and nine foiled shadows can i just say these foiled shadows you guys know i love the formula but the shades that they launched these top three ones right here just call my name and these neutral warm shades like you can never get enough of super warm mattes i feel like i'm obsessed with them really gorgeous colors i played around with them a bit and they're the same beautiful formula as always with makeup geek so shout out to her for always coming out with some bomb colors i feel like i'm super late on loving this this is the becca black backlight priming filter this is a primer but it's really beautiful because it has this super luminizing like I mean, I feel like the name really um, defines it, backlight filter. Like it just gives you this really luminous kind of filter to the skin. It doesn't do anything for smoothing the pores, so I do kind of like to mix it with a silicone primer, but I just think that this is so beautiful, especially underneath a matte foundation if you wanna make it a little more luminizing and more alive looking or under a dewy foundation just to emphasize the dewiness next i want to talk about some becca powders they recently launched their multitasking perfecting powders i don't know if they're actually available yet but i really do love these the formula is really nice they're very soft and smooth and i like how they have a medium coverage they're not too too full they're not too too light um, I do like them just for more of a no makeup makeup day. So I like to use the shade tan just to set my all over foundation or to kind of dust on. But this shade right here is what I'm really obsessed with. This is the shade warm honey and I am obsessed with this as a bronzer. I'm actually wearing it today and it just makes you look so tan. Like when you apply this, you are extremely tan and bronze blends really nicely. Not too, 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 too pigmented, not too, too light. It's just a really great bronzer and again this is the shade warm honey so speaking of becca they recently launched a new concealer this is the aqua luminous concealer i have really been loving this this month for those no makeup makeup days i just think it's a great light to medium super hydrating blendable coverage concealer um, i also think this will be amazing if you have more mature skin because it's not going to look cakey or seep into any fine lines it's just a really great hydrating light coverage concealer i want to talk about the soleil tan de chanel bronzer i have had my eye on this for so long i've seen jacqueline hill re 
rave about it. I've seen a couple other people rave about it. I've always wanted to get it, but it was just super pricey and I didn't know if I was into cream bronzers, you know, but recently I've really been liking cushion bronzers or kind of cream bronzers, not so much cream contour, cream bronzers are where it's at for me. I don't know why. On the skin, it just has a very natural effect it isn't super pigmented because it is light coverage it's just very easy and versatile to work with um it blends beautifully it looks super good on the skin like i don't even know how to explain it you just look very naturally bronzed you know almost like it's a part of your skin but better it's a really really great option also it is super pricey but the tin is huge i feel like this would last you forever so if you're kind of down to splurge i definitely think this is a great cream bronzer option so really quickly i want to mention the tartist lash paint mascara by tarte now you guys know i typically don't really use many high-end mascaras because i just feel like there's so many great options at the drugstore but i recently tested this out and i have to say i really love it it gave me a super like wispy sultry kind of lash and ever since i used it i've just been like in love so last favorite i want to talk about is this hourglass vanish stick foundation now the reason why i'm talking about this last is because i only tried this out twice but i still wanted to mention it in this video to kind of update you guys because i did do a first impressions on this so i wanted to kind of pop it in this video to update you guys on my thoughts on it i really love this i love how it's like a medium to full coverage super easy to blend out it lasted all day like i'm not even kidding you guys for i think it was like 10 hours nine or ten hours that i wore it for straight and my makeup looked the exact same like i barely even got oily when wearing this and i didn't even use any sort of special powder or anything like that i did use the ofra silicone primer gel with it so i think that that might also have something to do with it but i'm still testing out that primer like i want to really see if it was that primer that really helps so getting into my regrets for the month i do kind of want to start off with a product that's not a huge favorite but not a huge regret i kind of want to update you guys on my thoughts on this this is the physician's formula cushion foundation i love how it's extremely matte it actually has a super matte powder finish which i really enjoy and the coverage is really good my only issue with this is that it oxidized really bad on me when i first applied it in the video first impressions that i did it looked really good like the color was spot on but a good hour later i would say i totally looked orange and the color just changed it got at least the shade darker i want to talk about two eyeshadow primers that i tested out this month and this is the kat von d locket eyeshadow primer and also the la splash eyeshadow water resistant till midnight elixir both of these products made my eyelids look super 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 dry the cap on d one is very iffy to be honest i'm not really willing to buy a high-end eyeshadow primer if it's not going to work 100 percent of the time so huge regret for me i kind of have the same problem when it comes to this one my eyelids looked extremely dry and really like patchy to be honest this was pretty much a nightmare for me because my eyelids just looked really dry and then my eyeshadow on top of it just did not look that great so total nightmare next i want to mention the covergirl clean matte bb cream um now i want to say i don't like completely dislike or hate this product it just definitely wasn't a favorite of mine this month um i tested it out and it was okay the color was a tad bit orange and it just felt like my main thing with this that i don't really like is that i found that it felt kind of heavy on the skin which is weird for a bb cream so it just definitely wasn't it's not my cup of tea Next, I want to mention an eyeliner. This is the Milani Stay Put 17 Hour Wear Liquid Eyeliner. Now, I want to say I really like the formula of this. Um, it's super black, super matte, and it lasts really long. It's just the wand for me was a no-go. It was super hard to work with, and I wasn't able to get like a nice thin sharp wing at the end and the tip next i want to talk about this ofra perfecting puff this is their kind of version of the beauty blender for me it just didn't work out at all it's super stiff another thing that's really weird about this is at first when you use it it actually blends nicely but if you try to go ahead and use that same spot for the other eye or for the other area of your face you're not gonna get a good blend you have to use like a clean spot is that like super weird you guys should watch my full face first impressions that i just recently uploaded to see what i'm talking about pretty much it blends nicely at first but it only goes so far like it only blends nicely for the first little 
let's say 30 seconds to a minute and then when you try to do more blending with the same spot it doesn't work out and it doesn't blend at all so i don't know i just found that this is super stiff and hard not the greatest it's a total no-go for me. Last product I wanted to mention is this Laura Mercier Golden Bronze Bronzer. I really was intrigued and really wanted to try this, but as soon as I received it in the mail, I just knew it just was not going to be for me because the shade is extremely light, but it does have a little bit of this rose tint to it. Like, it's pretty pinky. It has this, like, slight pinky tint to it that just does... It almost looks kind of like a blush. No? I don't know it just has this slight peachy pinky tinge to it and for me my bronzer like I don't want any sort of peachiness or pinkiness going on for my bronzer so it just didn't work for my skin tone the quality is really good though like it's very buttery and it blends really beautifully just the shade did not work for me so that is it for my favorites and regrets a shout out to those of you who stayed till the end of this video because I know it's going to be super long I had a lot of things that I wanted to update you guys on and talk to you guys about so hopefully you enjoyed it if you want me to continue doing these every single month then don't forget to like thumbs up as always thank you guys so much for watching and I'll of course see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. Mwah.